641, welcome back. Mike joins us now with the zoo, and he's cute. Uh, I like yeah, him. I love <laughs> First thing, we're waking it's him up. He's yeah, definitely yeah. comfortable, isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, those things happen. Turtles oh, love no. to pee on our set. They I do. think every they time do. you bring a turtle, the first thing they do is just kind of let something loose. about this set of the show. <laughs> <laughs> At least we put a paper down. That's yeah. smart of me. Well, tell us a little bit about this guy. Well, this is a young turtle. It's a baby turtle. And uh, it's called a leopard tortoise. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll get about 80 pounds when they're full grown. Oh, so, wow. Uh, it takes a while, though. This one's about two years old. So uh -huh. they, they're kind of a slow-growing animal. You bring him in here when he's full grown. You put a diaper on him. First. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll think hard, 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 hard about that one. But um, they're called leopards because obviously the coloration kind of reminds me of the fountain in Africa. Mm -hmm. So they kind of had that coloration of the leopard. So it's actually real it. pretty. It's real yeah. pretty turtle. And uh, uh, they're actually the fourth largest turtle in the world. So uh, really? as far as land turtles, you know, the, the, the largest is the... Uh, Galapagos tortoise, which everybody's kind of familiar with because that's a really big tortoise that yeah. you'll see a lot of parks, a lot of times, you know, uh, the really large ones. And then. Um, now, the, then. the tortoises you have up there that are very large, is that the Galapagos or is it one of these guys? No, those are actually called spur tortoise. Okay. And they're the uh, third largest. Third largest. Yeah, they get about wow. 100 pounds. So, and they're pretty good size, but those are the ones you do see in pet stores once in a while for sale. And they're tiny little ones in pet stores. So, mm. you know, they do get big some days. So, we always tell, you know, folks to. You know, these turtles could live 80 years, and they might say, get yeah. a long time to grow that. Yeah, thing, yeah, so make sure you hit, you're ready to take care of a, a long-term pet. But now, I know you have the problems with snakes, with people getting the snakes, and they huge. Do you have the problem with turtles, too? People Yeah, a lot of times people will buy, uh, you know, like the, the, the spur tortoises, and uh, they are cute turtles, and, yeah. and they, they uh, do stay uh, fairly small for a while, but you know, they eventually get too large for some folks to take care of properly. And then they're kind of challenged with, you know, what, what do I do with it? Right, and, uh, right. you know, the, the three we have at the zoo, or the two we have at the zoo are actually, you know, ex-pets that uh, were given to the zoo years ago. Hmm. Um, and we get actually quite a few calls for, and we, we wish we could help people out with, you know, but you know, we can only take in so many right, uh, unwanted yeah. pets. So we always tell people before they purchase to really make sure that this is something they really want for potentially, you know, 80 years. Now, how much <laughs> do one of these guys cost? Uh, it, well, you know, some, some, you know, the, some, the animals in pet stores are usually relatively inexpensive because they're mm -hmm. captive bred and there's quite a few of them available. Uh, you know, some of the other animals are a little more harder to obtain, it's a little more pricey, um, and usually you don't see as much as in, in the pet trade as in the more common ones. Now, is he slow? Is that a stereotype? Slower, slower. Okay. And they have this, you know, since they live on dry land, they have a, that hard shell on top and the hard shell on the bottom that uh -huh. kind of protects themselves, you know, if a you know, predator came along, they can get their, their legs and head inside, protect themselves from sharp teeth and claws. So uh, they don't really rely on speed to get away from something. Can they feel anything through the shell? I, I imagine vibration or something like that, but can they actually, is there any sensory yeah, through the shell? Yeah, there's sensory. I mean, the, the shell is actually bone. Okay. And the, the and it's covered with these plates called scutes that kind of give that coloration mm -hmm. and, and uh, protect the bone. But um, yeah, they can feel pressure. They can feel uh, sensations. Um, and you know, a lot of times, kids. You know, a lot of cartoons used to always have turtles that had like little hatchbacks. So kids <laughs> always kind of grew up thinking that turtles could actually walk out and leave their body, and the yeah. body was actually <laughs> a, a rock or uh, you know something else besides their their skeletal system. But they're actually attached to the shell. Yeah, it actually yeah. incorporates their 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 ribs and their their spine, so it's actually part of their body. Oh well, now, he is cute. We've got some rough weather coming up this uh, weekend. Are you preparing for the cold and the possible snow and stuff? Yeah, you know the animals all have you know enclosures they can get into at nighttime where they can get uh, warmth and during the daytime too if we need to. Okay. But you still be open? We're still open yeah, and let's it we allow snow. <laughs> so call him if we allow snow, call him. All right. Well, Mike, thank you for coming. We Our appreciate pleasure. it. We'll be right back. We've got Travis here next.